Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to bring somebody on stage, somebody who's going to give us a bit of information and a wee chat. And it's the gentleman from the heart of us. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Conor McCafferty. And if I can ask, if he's could just keep quiet for five minutes, down the back, shh. Conor McCaffrey, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, first of all, I have to say, this is, must be one of the best nights of entertainment in the town. And it's made very special, too, by this man. He's not only a brilliant entertainer, he's a good man. Earlier this evening, Mickey and Noella talked about hope and love. And I've been watching the news for the last couple of weeks. And all we have seen is death and killing. And you killed us, so we're going to kill you. So we'll kill you back again. And it seems as if life has lost value somewhere. And I was starting to despair a wee bit until I come in here tonight. And, and there's so many people who value life here tonight. So many people who want to save lives and not take them, you know. But when we talk about hope and love, you know, it is that simple. People would ask us and say, how do you do what you do? Do you know, you must need to be very smart or clever or whatever. And the answer is no. The answer is compassion and kindness. It is about hope and it is about love. I'm going to tell you a wee story and it involves my granddaughter there, Kate, the wee dancer. And I know she'll not mind. She's not very easy on Boris. She's not like her granda. She's not easy on Boris. But about seven years ago, she'd be 12 on Monday, by the way. Seven years ago. She was five years of age, and she came in to me one day, and she says, Granda, do you think of me every day? Isn't that lovely? And of course, I couldn't lie. She knows when I'm lying. And I said, you know, well, I try to think of you most days, but I do think of you very often. And she produced a Hello Kitty. You know the wee white cat from behind her back? And she said, is there somewhere you can put this so that you'll think of me every day? So I put it on my diary. I have a diary that I take to work every day. So I hung it on the diary. Now, you might be thinking, what's the story about it was about six months later, I was asked to see a young girl down in Fermanagh. And she had been through the child psychologist and the psychiatrist. And she was a very angry wee girl and she wouldn't talk. And she just, she was full of bitterness because of what had happened there in her life. And she came in to see me a couple of times and she didn't talk. She was just so, so angry. And one day she said to me, What's an old man like you doing with a Hello Kitty in your book? <laughs> and I told her the story and she just started crying. And she cried and she cried and then she talked and talked and talked. And it was the child's love for her granda that broke through all the bitterness, all the anger, all the resentment and touch the wee hurt girl. Do you know, and that's... <laughs> and I can honestly say, I can honestly say that if Kate didn't save her life, she saved her many years of heartache and chaos and pain.
The moral of the story and the lesson in the story is we don't have to be smart. We don't have to be educated or trained or anything else. We just have to care about people. All of you are here tonight. All of you are here tonight because you love your family and friends. Some of you may have lost somebody and you know the pain of that. Some of you may be afraid to lose somebody, but you're here because you love your family and friends. And that's what we need to communicate. That's what we need to communicate to people that are losing hope. That's what we need to make them feel, that we care about them. And if anything happened to them, it would break our hearts and we don't want that to happen. So um, what I would like to say to you all tonight is you have saved lives. Mickey said earlier you could, but I can tell you now you have saved lives by doing what you're doing tonight. No doubt. And how you've saved the life is you've brought hope to us as a team. And we take that hope with us. Money is very important in a practical way and we appreciate it and we thank you most sincerely for that. But it's the other things, it's the compassion and kindness and generosity and love that you show to us that helps us do what we do. And what I would say is when you go home tonight, just know that you have saved lives. And I'm not saying that to make you feel good. You have saved lives by doing what you're doing.